Hauptdarstellerin hat alles gewonnen, was man gewinnen kann. Und wir gehen direkt rein, machen einen kleinen Sprung. Der Sprung von Lisa Rischig über 4,63 bedeutet deutsche Jahresbestleistung für sie. Offenbar schon in einer guten Frühform und damit ist sie noch im Rennen, sowie insgesamt Acht Athletinnen bei 4,71 Meter. Es entwickelt sich also genau dieser hochkarätige Wettbewerb, den wir uns erhofft hatten. Zurück zum Stabhochsprung mit Alicia Newman aus Kanada. Ihr erster Versuch über 4,71 Meter. Schraubt sich hoch und ist drüber zum ersten Mal in ihrer Karriere. Überwindet Alicia Newman in der Halle die 4,71 Meter die Freude ist ihr anzusehen. Draußen schon über 4,75 gesprungen. Jetzt zum ersten Mal in der Halle über 4,71. Und damit übernimmt sie auch die Führung hier beim Indoor-Meeting in Karlsruhe. Die 4,71 Meter. Sie trennen in Karlsruhe in diesem Jahr ein bisschen die Spreu vom Weizen. Acht Athletinnen sind die Höhe angegangen. Geschafft haben es am Ende nur drei. Auch für die deutsche Lisa Rischig war hier leider Schluss. 4,71 heute zu hoch für sie. Dafür weiter im Rennen. Angelika Sidorova. Wir sehen hier ihren Sprung über 4,71 Meter ganz sicher drüber. Und ebenfalls weiter mit dabei. Wir sehen es gleich. Die Olympiasiegerin aus Griechenland, Jekaterina Stefanidi. 4,71 Meter in Karlsruhe auch für sie. Ganz sicher, danach ging es für die Damen weiter auf 4,78 Meter, die nächste geplante Sprunghöhe und die bedeutet gleichzeitig Meeting-Rekord in Karlsruhe. Den hält noch Silke Spiegelburg mit 4,76 Meter aus dem Jahr 2011. Und jetzt haben wir drei hoffnungsvoll. The silver medalist at the World Indoor Championships in Birmingham last year, finishing behind Sandy Morris in a titanic tussle. So Sidorova, second attempt, 4.78. No one clear. Other exits, we've seen Kyriakopoulou, the Greek athlete, 4.63 was her best mark before three failures. Sidorova, nope, aborts it on the way up. And so Lisa Reisic, by the way, the German athlete, also failing three times at 4.71. Her best mark was 4.61. So the three athletes still in the competition, filling the top three. Katie Lejot on count back in fourth position. Quite a surprise to see Lejot uh, disappear from the competition that early on, Jen. Yeah, she's been in tremendous form. And, um, you know, we actually saw her going off. And she was a little bit emotional, actually. I think she was expecting a lot more than that um, here this evening. 487 in Boston just a few days ago. Um, you know, I think she was really hoping to have quite a tussle with Stephanie this evening. But, um, you know, this height is really finding them out. Obviously, we're trying to see their form ahead of Glasgow um, European champs just a long time. So we value that to uh, pole vault, Stephanie D. Getting towards crunch time. This is second attempt for her. So uh, two fellow competitors, Newman and Sidorova, have both failed twice. So this for Stephanie D to take the lead. They've been edged into second place in Boston last weekend. No, so she bails out like Sidorova did last time around. So the athletes just trying to find a bit of rhythm here in the pole vault. Yeah, good to have three athletes though, you know, still in at a height of 4 meters 78. Um, obviously they're all now on the third attempt, so uh, winner takes all. Yep, I think I said third attempt at 471 then for Stephanie, but she's obviously over that, so it's third attempt at 478. She is uh, capable of 490 indoors, of course, all conquering force, but as one or two rivals starting to emerge. Sandy Morris, of course, the world indoor champion, has uh, had a slight injury setback over the winter, so she's still building up towards the, uh, the outdoors, one would think. US indoor champs coming up, of course, at the uh, end of this month as well. For Alicia Newman, though, having set a lifetime best and a national record, an extra seven centimeters on top of that is quite a big ask. You know, it is. You know, psychologically, you've already done something that you maybe thought was the past what you thought you could do this evening. And now you're already, you know, going for an even greater height. So, you know, I'm sure whatever happens, she'll come away from this arena, you know, with obviously a lot of confidence from this evening, you know, getting that 471 national record. But, you know, another cent seven centimeters if she can, four meters 78. She wants the crowd support. She treated us to a bit of a backflip earlier on when she recorded that lifetime best and national record indoors. This is a must for her, 4.78 to crown. You can see the smile on her face. It looks like a jump to nothing, really, with the smile on her face. I think she's thinking, I might be able to do it, but I've had a great night already. <laughs> Absolutely. I think sometimes an athlete's just relax and they just go with the flow. You know, great things can happen. So let's see how she gets on. What's the Commonwealth champion got there at 4 meters 78? Ooh. 
tell you what, she got the height. She okay. got the height, she did. But yeah, as you said, you know, she's delighted. She's walked away here with a national record and, uh, you know, a lot of positives to take from that, I'm sure. Well, on count back at the moment, there, uh, the athletes all prior to this height all had a clean card. So at the moment, Alicia Newman had five clearances, first time clearances at earlier heights. Sidorova has two clearances on her record and three passes. And Stefanidi has just two clearances as well. It's an interesting event, isn't it? It comes down to strategy. Really like the high jump as well. You know, Stephanie only entered the competition at 4.63. She's that confident. When obviously, you know, Alicia Newman, she came in at 4 meters 20, so she took every single bar, but you know, she has. As well, her third attempt at 4 meters 78. Already has jumped 4.85 this year as Sidorova, twice a world indoor silver medalist, not only in Birmingham, but also in Sofot in 2014. Can she stay in the competition at 4.78? Oh, she was closer than Newman, but still not quite close enough. Oh, that was a huge clearance. Uh, she just rattled it, didn't she? Um, gosh, the heights, though. I can tell why she's jumped 4 meters 85 already. So, a frustrated look from Angelica Sidorova, who will have realised she was sailing upwards there, but unfortunately came down on it. So she is out of the competition, which means that Stefanidi has a vault to take the, uh, the meet. And 10 important points, by the way, in the IWF World Indoor Tour. We should say there are, are points on offer for the top four positions. 10 points for the winner of the scoring event, seven for second, five for third, three points for fourth. And the overall winner across the six events, the best three scores from the uh, athlete's record over the six events contribute. So the maximum points you can get are 30 from three wins. Stephanie has a seven on her card from last weekend, so a ten here would be pretty useful, particularly with Katie Najot, who took the ten last Absolutely. week, having uh, this gone out be, early. This would be a great opportunity for her to bag a, a ten point, but she, you know, she's guaranteed some points, which is fantastic, but um, I'm sure she's not just here for the points, I'm sure she's here for the clearances as well. Absolutely. Over in Europe, but US-based these days, Katerina Stefanidi, coached by her husband, and has a well, same management team as Katie Najot, so they know each other very well, they follow each other, Around the world competing. It has been the Stephanie against the Jot show, if you like, in the, uh, the early part of the year. This to take the event and to stay in the competition as well and to potentially move higher. 478 for the win for Stephanie. Not to be for her either. So three failures and out at 478 for Katerina Stephanie as well. Frustrated all round because all the athletes there are capable of going higher. But it's one of those days, isn't it? Sometimes you just have a competition like that, and you know, I think you can only benchmark yourself against the others as well. Um, you know, 471, three people clearing that, absolutely fantastic competition. Just wonder what the conversation's going to be at home. Do you think the husband's <laughs> in trouble? Oh, I don't know. Is it the husband's fault? <laughs> Is it the husband or the coach tonight? <laughs> she didn't look too frustrated when she looked across there. I mean, that wasn't close, was it? She's not that off on the way up. Uh, Stephanie D. So there